friends. We Hi. find ourselves here near Willisville, Ontario, and we are just at the trailhead for the Kichutwa Shkwandem Trail, roughly translated as the Gateway to Heaven or the Heaven's Gate Trail at the La Cloche Mountains. Sherry and I have been looking at doing this hike for a couple of years now, and it's early September, and we're excited. The leaves are just starting to change. The forecast calls for rain and high winds, but the forecast also calls for rugged beauty of the La Cloche mountain range. <laughs> Stick with us. beauties so we are just about an hour in not quite an hour in and we're on the shore of horseshoe lake which is an absolutely gorgeous lake and we've been going about two and a half kilometers we've gone in just under an hour so our pace is good we're just leaving one uh, nature preserve and we're heading into another we're about to go into the La Cloche Ridge Conservation Reserve which is part of the Ontario Park System that's news to us but it's super cool mm -hmm. So this trail is known for the mountains, obviously, for obvious reasons, but um, the mixed forest in here is absolutely lovely. There's lots of hemlock and ironwood, some ferns. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous little section here. Ooh. The seasons are changing. You know what kind of tree it is? Okay, so it's about noon now. We've been going for just about three hours. We don't know how many kilometers we're in, but I'm guessing about six or so. And we're looking for about 20 today. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got a long way to go. It's such a gorgeous lookout here. I'm not sure, I'll put below what the lookout is that we're at, but it's absolutely gorgeous and pictures won't do it justice. No, it's so beautiful here. And it's starting to rain, so... <laughs> it's a little bit chilly. There's, we were calling for like 25 to 30 kilometer winds with 45 kilometer gusts. And you feel that out on here on these lookouts. And it's about 8 degrees and raining. So 
this is a challenging hike and we love a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's worth it. So we're headed down through there between those two lakes and then up this ridge and along that peak. That's our next few steps. We made the climb down from that big hill there and uh, now we're at a what appears to be a campsite with a lean-to and everything I think we're about nine kilometers in which is not quite halfway or about halfway to, to where we want to get today which is I think Wright's Lake is where we want to be mm -hmm. to have a good chance of getting out tomorrow <laughs> or else we're calling in sick on Monday <laughs> but how's, how's the trail so far babe the first six or seven kilometers were not too bad, a few rock climbing sections, but this last section has been a little more rocky, um, a little tougher on my knees, a little more downhill, and the weather is holding out for us, thank goodness. It's just drizzling. We're going to find some fresh water, fill up our water bottles, and then keep moseying on. There's the peak we were at earlier today. This is our new Catadyne water filter that Cher bought recently that I think is a great little addition to our kit. So you don't have to filter four liters of water at a time. You just Scoop it up and squeeze it into your bottle. Nice. Oh, I almost wish for a canoe right now. All right, so we're just rounding the end of Alexander Lake. What a beautiful hike around that lake. The gorgeous forest with the super high canopy and breathtaking views across the lake to the quartzite cliffs on the other side. So we're gonna round this and we've had a pretty easy hike since stopping uh, for that quick water break. But now we got a, what looks to be a pretty steep climb there for a bit to get up on top of the ridge again. And so that's gonna be a challenge. But then we ride the ridge for most of the rest of our day before reaching Wrights Lake Camp. What do you think of those apples, Cher? Sounds good. Well, it's an aggressive climb. It's good, it gets the heart pumping, that's for sure. You certainly can't say that the trail is not well signed.
then the sun came out, guys. Gang. Hi guys. So we've gone about 15 kilometers. We're averaging about just less than three kilometers an hour. Mm. We're taking our time. 3.52, so it's almost four o'clock. So we've been going for seven hours. We've still got about five or six kilometers before our campsite for today, which means about two more hours as long as we go steady. Um, so we'll be there by six, set up before seven. We're taking a bit of a break. Our bodies are uh, aching a little bit right now but we had a nice rest and we're ready to go back on the trail i think we are with the fork <laughs> So we are off of the quartzite ridges for a bit and back in the deep dark woods. But yeah, we had a little mishap when I actually have notifications on, which I never do, but my phone's in airplane mode, but I have this All Trails app running. And I'm sure if you're a hiker, you've heard of All Trails. This is our first time using it. And thank goodness, because there was no signage to indicate that the trail split halfway down the descent. But sure enough, the app sort of gave me a notification, audible notification that I've checked. And yeah, it said, hey, you're taking a bit of a detour from your trail. We were still following signs and a well-marked, like a well-packed trail, but I guess the trail splits. That probably goes back to a, a loop, but we wanted to go here. So we were only maybe 150 meters off course, but thank goodness for that. The sun is just fighting to poke out here, but the hike is going super well. It's a lot calmer in the bush. The weather's been spectacular. We were not expecting the weather to be this good. So yeah, we're happy. We're just plugging along. I, I see flagging tape that way. I think our next destination is that peak over there to look north over a beautiful swamp. And then we head this way down into that valley between these two hills to our lake, Wright's Lake. But first, that peak. Now we're climbing up to that other peak. It's a nice little climb. Lots of really nice quartzite bits here. I was slightly wrong about being near that peak. We still have that <laughs> pretty vertical climb to do. Looking forward to it, Cher? I'm undecided. As of yet. We'll decide at the top. Yeah. Still trying to decide, Cher? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little steep. Yeah, a little steep indeed. That's a video. <laughs> Don't be like Mark. <laughs> Don't be like Mark. Well, now we're on the home stretch. Probably a couple of kilometers left. As far as the topo looks, it's a pretty gradual gradient downward. It looks to be mostly just in this deciduous mixed forest, I guess. Yay! Oh, here's a grouse right here, babe. Eh? 
That's where we're headed. Just this way. Are we ready for camp, babe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're sore. I don't know if you guys remember. You may not have. Not a lot of people have watched our Toab Trail hiking video, but check it out. I felt like in May, it was early May, so four months ago, and I felt like, okay, good. We're in hiking shape now for the year. Yeah. No. You can't let it go four <laughs> months without really a good hike because we're both feeling it pretty bad today. We're just a little over 20 kilometers in for the day. That's a lot. Yeah, it was a lot of up and down, a lot of uh, uphill, downhill, which was tough on my knees. Old. Our old knees and heels. Cheesy Josie, don't listen to us complain. We're almost at camp. We'll complain to you there. We can see water. That's Wright's Lake. We're so close. So here we've arrived at Wright's Lake, just in time for golden hour. Check that out. The wind has died down a little bit. It looks like Camp Manitou has a couple of canoes stored here. There's a pretty decent road this way, but this is home for tonight, friends. How happy are we to be here right oh, now? Oh, we're so happy. And the sun's coming out, so we're Yeah, the skies are starting to blue up for us. you for letting us use this here to paddle out to get some water. Look at that, crystal clear. Amazing. Camp is set up. We're going to start a fire, boil some water on the fire for some cafe mocha, which is our go to. The light's getting low, so we're going to light a fire and we are going to relax because we are on vacation. So we're going to start the fire with Wilson and his little cedar hair right now. Oh! And there's little Wilson getting the job done. Okay. So this is a new recipe we're trying that we saw our friend Tyler from Camp Kitchen. So this is basil pesto. And then we're going to add the prosciutto. And we're going to add some cheese. Just the mozzarella. Some basil. We're going to top it with the second naan bread so that when it's cooked on one side, we can flip it. Like so. Stick around, we'll let you know how it turns out. This is our first time using our new frying pan. We're pretty excited about having a camp frying pan. I, I think it's ready to flip. Wish me luck and that I don't tip the whole stove over. Oh, it burnt it. Oh man, that was flawless.
little burnt. <laughs> Maybe you are a chef after all. Maybe. Oh my god. It smells good. As is customary, they who didn't cook gets the first bite. <laughs> I don't think that's customary. Oh, we're already leaking cheese, bro. Oh, it's nice. Bursting with flavor. Basil flavor. <laughs> what do you think, Cher? Chef Cherry approved. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's got the salt that we expended today. Mm -hmm. That's a coyote, pretty sure. A lone coyote, as far as we could tell. Typically, coyotes are not going to give you any issue at all, but that was like out of nowhere. We're going to have to make a lot of noise, but just so he knows that we're here. He might not know we're here. The wind is going his way, though, so. Hmm. Another wrinkle. Good morning, friendos. Good morning. So we had a nice, cozy, chilly sleep last night, which we, we actually prefer. We got to put our sleeping bags together and uh, stay warm. It was great. We woke up pretty late today. We had well, a, we woke up early. We got up late. We did not get up early. We had a couple of uh, Advil. Today will be brought to you by ibuprofen. Um, <laughs> we've had, we had a couple and let them kick in before we got out of bed. We got camp struck and now it's probably shortly after 10 and we're going to be hitting the trail. Steady climb to start the day. You get the blood flowing. Not tired anymore. So we're pretty sure that we're making our way right now through the namesake, the Kichitwa Shkwandem, which is what this is named after, the Gateway to Heaven or Heaven's Gate. It's this beautiful section with towering cliffs on either side and a rock scree up the middle. A beautiful climb, a little bit challenging, but so gorgeous. Amazing. Here's what we think is the final bit, the actual end of the gateway into the heavens. Here comes a rock monkey. Oh, wow. oh yeah, jeez. And here we are in heaven. Can't disagree.
we're on top of a ridge which is much of yesterday's travel and seemingly much of today's travel but this ridge has much more topsoil and therefore way more tree coverage there's so many beautiful oaks and maples and white pines and even some hemlock even way up here but it's the jack pines that are trying to kill us i think <laughs> the jack pines yes <laughs> they're little pokies sticking into the trail and if you're not paying attention you could lose an eye pretty easily but uh, yeah what a gorgeous stroll through the forest this is today Just another magical little lake here on the Laclache Mountain Trail. This looks to be a little campsite as well. It's a fire ring, a fire pit, and slanted but workable tent pad. Okay, we had a little rest here. Took the packs off for a few minutes and now we're on our way. Next leg of the journey looks like a bit of a climb and then we uh, walk along a ridge for a while so maybe there'll be some nice views. Hopefully the terrain is uh, not too hard. Stay with us. Oh, good sized black bear. Couldn't have been 20 yards, just over a knoll. I didn't see him until he started moving, but right there. ran off appropriately quick. What's shitty is that the trail goes that way. So maybe we'll give him a couple of minutes. Whew. Yikes. Yeah, that bear bell's really doing the trick. Wow, so thankfully the trail, there was a trail that led exactly toward where the bear went, but luckily the trail that we're following led in 90 degree direction up a mountain. Man, that's, uh, that's intense. <laughs> Ooh, pretty neat to see. I hope we didn't ruin his afternoon. But it's a little closer than comfortable <laughs> for us. Like I swear that was 15 yards maybe when he finally spooked and beat it across in front of me. I almost peed myself just a little bit. If I hadn't already recently done so, <laughs> I would be embarrassed to say. But we are cresting up another hill here with another gorgeous view of the Baclash Mountains. It was supposed to be raining all weekend. We are so fortunate. This quartzite makes for the prettiest cairns. What do you think? Half of the uh, heavy breathing that I'm having right now is due to the climb. <laughs> The other half is my heart still racing. I've been that close, closer to bears in my life. That's as close as I've been to a, a bear in years. It's a special treat, but it's also something you don't want to be doing every day. Somebody that makes a home out of that. Not me. <laughs> but these mountains never get old. Holy, beautiful. So we're plugging away here. 
we're noticing that on the uh, on this portion on the top oh it kind of looks like you're following a ridge with a few little topographic lines here and there so it makes it seem like you've climbed at the beginning and now you're going to ride the ridge that is not the case it's important to note you're climbing a hundred foot hill and then you're walking on it for about 25 meters and then you're dropping down that 25 foot hill now there is a ridge line around the bottoms of all these hills that you could follow but the trail is designed that you climb every single 100 foot hill and then you climb down it and then you go up the next one and then climb down it so that's what this entire day has been so far so the progress is a lot slower than we had hoped but it's still beautiful but just keep in mind when you're budgeting time that this I think it was about 16 or 18 kilometers our second day is more like probably 35 kilometers because as the crow flies it doesn't show you the steep up and then a little bit of across and the very steep down so something to think about Snack time. Yeah, do you have water? Oh, are you out of water? Alright. You want a hand bit? Got it. There's a cairn, so this is the way we gotta go. So there's very little flat hiking on this trail. <laughs> it's always, you're either climbing hard or you're steeply descending. There's no rest for the wicked. <laughs> so we're getting our, we're getting our money's worth, eh Bing? Yeah, <laughs> first trip with the uh, hiking poles and I'm glad I have them for uphills for sure. It says intermediate. Is that what it says? Intermediate. Don't do it if you're a beginner. I <laughs> did. Don't try it. Because you're going to be stuck out in the middle of the wilderness like this, needing a helicopter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gorgeous little convergence of two streams here. I'm going to fill up our water because we're both getting pretty low. Just bask in the cool shade here in the bush. This is how you travel with a Sherpa. <laughs> it's a water Sherpa. Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> ah, such a beautiful spot here. Going that way. Up into the sunshine again. So this is a really, really steep climb. Since that little creek bed we've been climbing at a 45 degree angle or more for half an hour. It's a challenge getting out of that river valley. It's very pretty though. A little bit to go before we crest this hill. Whoever made this trail really just wanted you to work hard and never forget the trail. <sighs> it is not a trail any animal would follow. <laughs> it just keeps getting more and more intense. <sighs> this is why we should learn how to be ultralighters. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's expensive, but I think it's worth it after this. Oh, so pretty though. Not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but one grouse just flew off. There's one right there at the base of that tree. These are rough grouse. There's another one up here. Oh, they're kind of skating away now. But one just flew off up to there too. There's a little grouse haven up here. Still here? <laughs> Hashtag still here. <laughs> so another big climb up and now another big climb down and then we're in here this little sort of a 
creek that connects these two lakes, these two little inland lakes. Well, it used to, but there's a land bridge there now. So we're going to cross that and go back up. And then we're basically on the home stretch. We've just got to go down a cliff into Lake Huron and then back up that cliff. And then we've got a few K left of hopefully not that hard hiking. This is a big full day. We underestimated this day for sure. We're making the big climb down to Lake Huron, knowing full well that we've got to climb the basically the same way back up. Trying to fill up your water bay? Yeah. All right, pals. So we have what I'm going to say is almost certainly the toughest climb of this entire trip left ahead of us. I'm sorry, Cher. I oh. don't know why that surprised her. You just came down Rude. a similar spot. Um, but then after that, after we get up that climb, is I believe it's about 300 meters vertical, which is almost 1,000 feet. That sounds unreasonable. I'm going to have to double check that. Um, but it is high. After that, we're in the home stretch. I think we are a couple of hours from Sherry's car at Fort LaCloche. If we survive, you'll see this uploaded to YouTube. If we don't, you'll probably see it on Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> yeah, I think we're on the trail now. Now we begin that dastardly climb. So we didn't make it. So we're camped on top of a mountain. We'll explain tomorrow. Okay, so it's 6.30 in the morning. So have you ever experienced a thunder and lightning storm from the top of a mountain? It's something. Hmm. And raining pretty hard, the rain is coming down. We have to get on the road because we have to be at work today. So we're gonna get packed up in a, a thunder and lightning and rainstorm. Okay. okay, lover. Okay, we are on our way. The rain has slowed, but not stopped, but it is really foggy and really, really slippy on these rocks. Yeah, our luck has run out with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But we have hopefully about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how slow we have to go, to get out of here to the parking lot. And then we got to get back into cell service, call into work, let them know that we're going to be late, probably not until the afternoon, and then drive safely home from there. Wish us luck. Almost didn't seem like we were going to at a few points there. It's 7.58. So it took us almost exactly an hour from our campsite. The hike was decidedly much easier, mostly downhill, but uh, what a trail, what a trip. Yeah, beautiful. Every, every section was beautiful, even with blisters. It's a once in a lifetime trip. It's not for the faint of heart, and it's not a two day trip overnight. Yeah, so it would take three days or four days. Take three or four days. And uh, make sure you bring good shoes and always look for water and bring a good camera because the views are unmatched. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Well, friends, you got to get to work. 